And during yesterday's attack, Ohio State went into lockdown mode. Universities in the UP offer mental health services to help prevent such an attack and help the community cope if one does happen. TV6's Harry Lee tonight explains what services are available. Yesterday's attack put 11 people in the hospital. Student reaction at NMU wasn't surprise, but rather discouragement. Any type of aggression towards anybody is not a good thing. Um, it's disheartening. It really is to see that it's on like a bigger campus. And I really hope that I won't see it here. NMU has programs in place to hopefully prevent it from happening here. Students can get individual or group therapy without caps on the number of sessions. There, they learn healthy coping strategies for feelings of sadness or isolation. Most campuses, including this one, have, have mental health professionals available. Uh, in our case and in many cases, these professional services for mental health are available with no fee whatsoever, so they're free. If an emergency situation does occur, the center is also prepared to help witnesses and the rest of the university cope with the trauma. The counseling center staff are all trained in what's called critical incident stress debriefing. We would go as soon as the coast is clear to the situation, provide any immediate services that are needed. Not everyone seeks treatment for themselves, but anyone who's concerned about a student can contact the center for a consultation. They work with all parties to let them know the available options. If you haven't already, the attack is a reminder to review your school's emergency plan. Harry Lee, TV6 News, Marquette.